Alright, what's better one classic finder here and today we're playing some more uh, Killing of Flora 2 or should I say Killing Floor 1 in Killing Floor 2? I have no idea. So yeah, today we're going to be revisiting a mod called the classic Killing Floor mod. And what this mod is, it pretty much adds all the Killing Floor 1 elements to Killing Floor 2. So basically, you have all the Killing Floor 1 perks, you can level them up as same as in Killing Floor 1, and they're based off, you know, Killing Floor 1 stats. I mean, same goes for the Zeds, but you're going to see that in just a couple of seconds. So yeah, if you played Killing Floor 1, this mod is going to be right for you. And a little birdie told me that this mod could be coming today or or maybe, you know, at the end of the week. I mean, you even have this like custom Killing Floor 1 sounds, it's just like amazing. So I'm not just going to be playing one perk today, I'm going to be going through all the seven perks that Killing Floor 1 had to offer. So I'm going to be playing seven waves and yeah, here I go. Okay, just before I do go, I do want to give a massive shout out to James Harding for pledging one dollar over on the Patreon. So yeah, James, I really do appreciate that and you get a Strasser thumbs up. Thanks for deciding to support. And on top of that, I do want to give a massive shout out to Joe for pledging fifteen dollars over on the Patreon also. So Joe, I really do appreciate that man. Here is a Strasser thumbs up and a Strasser with the beer. So yeah, Joe, really appreciate that massive support. And yeah, without you guys over on the Patreon, I wouldn't, you know, make these videos as often as I do. I mean, fair enough, I'm just like burning my ass off here. But yeah, no heat is going to stop a pet finder from uploading at least once every two days. But I'm trying to do a video every day now, so rest in peace is me if I die out of a heat stroke. But yeah, bottom line, thank you guys for the support over on the Patreon and just thank you guys in general for sticking around to the channel. I really do appreciate that. And yeah, here we go. And since this is Killing Floor 1 in Killing Floor 2, you don't have, you know, the sprint key. The only way to sprint is by having a melee weapon in hand. And you can't bash and you can't reload cancel. And yeah, it's going to be a sad ass experience overall. But I guess we're going to have to get used to it. Oh, look at this. So I decided to spice things up and like add our killing for one map, such as like the West London. And on top of that, this mod actually has classic killing floor one music, as you can hear in the background, hopefully. And there's only, you know, these clots. Because Killing Floor 1 only had, you know, one type of cloth. And as you can probably see, this mod also has the Killing Floor 1 HUD, which is kind of amazing. Okay, last three dudes, and they're dead. Nice. Oh, it even has the Killing Floor 1 trader, would you look at that shit? Okay, even like the path is the same, you know, this like trail to the trader, I mean look at this. You know, this like red smoke thing. Okay, since I said I'm going to be playing each and every one of the perks, let me switch to the commando and buy myself a good ol... Okay, what was in Killing Floor 1? The bullpup. And there is like no upgrade system, no EDARs, no random ass bullshit, so yeah, this should be... Pretty freaking amazing to play. Oh, and this is exactly what Killing Floor 1 needed, Skip Trader. Would you look at that shit? Oh, like and sub for wee bucks, please ring the bell also. Well then, round two out of seven, let's see what we can possibly do. Oh, that reload is actually fast, would you look at that shit? Now, fair enough, I'm everything at level six, but you can level up if you're like a level zero, and I do believe he's going to add that in the full release. Okay, he just punched me there. So, I think you can say I'm pretty much like reviewing this mod. Wait, is this like a medic MP7? Oh, it is. Because in Killing Floor 1, the only MP7 was the medic one. Oh god, don't kill me now. Oh, this mod, it just has to be official, man, just for like the OG sake. You can kind of say this is like Killing Floor 1 remastered in a way. Oh, the stalker does some damage. I don't appreciate that. Oh, that's a Scrake. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to take down a Scrake with my bullpup? Okay, I do believe the best way to kill this dude is just like shoot him with the best weapon you have, aka the bullpup in this case. I'm so dead. Or maybe not. <gasps> okay, he's, he misses things. Kinda cool. Okay, let me just throw a grenade for the spiders. Completely unnecessary, but... I just hate spiders, you know I have to throw like a grenade once in a while. I can heal myself up and kill the other dudes. Wait, is the MP7 actually... Oh yeah, it actually does poison the things. But no damage though. Well then, one grenade, two grenades and three grenades. Then let's just go and shoot them. Wait, did I just like kill myself half of the time? I think I did. And he just got oofed. Okay, three dudes left and it's a clot and another clot and a gore fast. But they're all dead. Okay, what the hell am I a berserker now? Wait, what? Wait, can I change? Can I be a support? Okay, I'm a support. Okay, sell this, sell that, and since now I'm a support, I'm just gonna buy... Oh, the AA-12. Oh, this is probably going to kick ass. Okay, I don't have armor, which is a little bit sketchy, so hopefully I'm not going to get my ass whooped in... 
Get your ass in gear, shift the hell is that voice? Oh yeah, it is. Very good stuff. Okay, let me pick up some more ammunition because you can never have enough of this. And let me just go and kill some things with the A812. Oh, this was just one of the most satisfying weapons to play in Killing Floor 1. Let's see if it's going to be the same in this mod. Yep, pretty much. But yeah, playing this on Hell on Earth, if I'm going to die to something, it's probably going to be the Patriarch. Since that's going to be like the only boss that's going to be spawning. Since Killing Floor 1 didn't have anything else. Which was a shame, you know, but... I mean, that's how the world goes sometimes. Oh, this classic Killing Floor 1 music, man. Just listen to this thing. Yep, pretty cool. Okay, there's only like 20 left. We're kind of like speeding through this a little bit. So I'm just going to chill with the killing. Or maybe not. Okay, you can step on spiders, which is like accurate. Because in Killing Floor 1, you couldn't do that shit. So let me just go and kill the husk. Okay, what the hell was that damage? Stupid gore fast. Okay, fair enough, Killing Floor 2 is like a little bit bright, so let me just go and destroy the light. Okay, I can't even destroy the light. Well then. Because in Killing Floor 1, yeah, this room, or should I say this area in this map was actually dark as hell. Which made it creepy. I just appreciate Killing Floor 1's atmosphere a little bit more. And I kind of wish Killing Floor 2 went for like a similar atmosphere, but sadly it didn't. Oh god, that's a husk over there. Let me just throw a grenade. Is he gonna step in it? Yep, he did. Well then. Okay, next perk on the list is the field medic, so let's see what we can do with this. Probably nothing because it's a field medic, but I guess we'll see. Oh, free weapon. Okay, let's sell this and let's sell the revolver and get myself the... I don't even know what this has. Oh, the Schneidzek. Don't even know how to pronounce that shit. Medic. Vector. Oh, on top of that, I can even get like an MP5 because that was in Killing Floor 1 also. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the classic Killing Floor 1 weaponry here, aka the, the Vector, the MP7, the MP5. Wait, can you heal with this? Oh, you can. Yep, this is accurate as hell. Okay, where the hell was that going? Okay, wave four out of seven. Let's see what we can possibly do. Okay, probably nothing. But I'm just going to like give it my... Wait, why am I shooting things with the MP5? Okay, let's just shoot with the Vector because it's probably going to be the best. The Gorefest does massive damage for unknown reasons. Okay, Vector time. Let me just kill your asses up as fast as possible. Just like that. But yeah, man, the Neon Vector in Killing Floor 1. Yeah, that thing was the shit. I kind of wish Killing Floor 2 had a Neon Vector. Okay, maybe it does. Oh yeah, it does actually, but it's not the same. It's like that ugly orange color, I think. I kind of wish the Neon was like blue. Because blue kind of like fits the whole medic feel. I mean, but fair enough, Killing Floor 2 doesn't have the Chris SMG as a medic SMG, so... Yeah, rest in pieces for the blue color. Okay, the medic I do believe still has the medic grenades. Yep, that's pretty much a thing still. Okay, I do believe I have like some husks over here. Yeah, here they are. Pieces of shit. Okay, plot time. Let me just kill them. Destroy the husks because no one needs these things. Okay, anything behind? Of course there's going to be clots. Because the reasons... Oh god, I'm in a corridor. Oh, that was a lot of damage. And thankfully I can heal myself up like 50%, which is... Mm, perfection. Okay, that near enough like shot my ass. Okay, let's just use the MP7 a little bit since it's like... Kind of like a new weapon, I guess. Oh god, I need to... Oh, there's like no reload cancelling. I mean, what the hell? I mean, fair enough, there was like no reload cancelling whatsoever in Killing Floor 1, so... Oh, he doesn't even have the flamethrower. Oh, you're so bad. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, next perk on the list is the Demolitionist. Ooh. Okay, I'm kind of eager to try the Seeker 6 for the Demolitionist because I do believe it acts the same as in Killing Floor 1. So yeah, here you go. Oh, pie bombs. Oh, what the hell are those? Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna buy pie bombs. Can't even be bothered. M16, M203. Why not? Okay, let's see what the pie bomb is all about. Let me just like get out of here and see what this actually does. Okay, is this thing going to like self-detonate? Okay, let me try that shit. Oh, it's right here. Okay, there's like a flash pond over there, so let's test that shit on this. No, not the same. Oh, well then. Okay, let me just try the... Oh, it actually does the thing. Nice. Okay, see, four time, or should I say pie bomb, whatever the hell it is. Yep, it acts like killing for 2C4, sadly. Oh, God, the M16. Now we're better. So yeah, pretty much, if you don't like the Killing Floor 2's, you know, current game type style, you can just download this mod and... Yeah, have some Killing Floor 1 fun. Oh god, husks. Not appreciated. Okay, let's try the Secret 6 again. Since it fires all 6 rockets at once. Oh, look at this. Fair enough, it's still bad because it's not the Secret 6, but... 
Yeah, kind of cool. Okay, don't chop me because you do a lot of damage. There you go. Okay, let's just shoot this thing for like the funsies. Yep, blood just got annihilated. I'm just gonna use this for like the rest of the wave. Can't even be bothered. Okay, let's just try the pipe bomb again. See if I did like a mistake before. Okay, he just like threw it on the floor. Let's see if it's going to like detonate automatically. It didn't. Well then, let me just detonate it by myself. And kill a bloat and a clot. Nice. Okay, secret six. Actually six rockets time. Oh, something's behind. Need to reload this shit. Because this was cool in killing for one. Just like shoot one, shoot another one. Then you see like one clot and you just like shoot the rest of them. Yeah, that was the shit. Okay, let me catch up this dude, that dude, didn't even headshot him for some- Oh, that's a blow, time for some rockets. Okay, let me throw a pipe bomb at his ass. Okay, just like that, apparently. And detonate that shit. Didn't do anything, so I just shoot him with some rockets. Nice. Okay, blow to action. I just enjoy six rockets at once, man. I mean, look at this. It just rips everything apart. Okay, which perk is next? We're going to be playing the Firebug. Okay, not sure exactly what I want to go for the Firebug. Maybe like my classic Killing Floor 1. Okay, not entirely sure what I want to go with the Firebug. So I'm just gonna go with... Oh, dual flare wallers. Probably the Mac 10 because the Mac 10 was the shit in Killing Floor 1. Maybe the Cock and Burn, even though it's not in Killing Floor 1. But can't even be bothered, man. Well then, skip trader and here we go. Okay, probably going to get like a bunch of flash pounds and shit. Not entirely sure how to kill them, but... Oh, we get like a scrake right off the bat. It's let me just shoot him with the Mac 10 because it's pretty reasonably good. I do believe. Hopefully I'm not going to get like my ass whooped now. Oh, it's not dying. Let me chop ch ch you up with some cock and burn action. Yeah, here we go. Okay, more Mac 10 time because this thing is just like satisfying as hell. I mean, fair enough, it was more satisfying in killing for one than killing for two, but yeah, this accuracy is kind of cool. Okay, now let's get this thing's a shot. Hopefully they're like OP as in killing for one. Maybe they are. Not sure. Okay, I can't bash. I mean, pulling your knife out to run, it's kind of random, but at the same time, it's kind of fun. You know, classic killing floor things. Well, let's just shoot some flares and kill some things, because that's what you do in a killing floor these days. Oh, and by the way, you can't hear when flash bombs are going to spawn or scrakes are going to spawn. They're just kind of a surprise. And why the hell am I dying? Should I enrage him? Yeah, screw it. If I die, I die. Okay, straight <gasps> chill a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's like some freaking free oof action. That's what it is. Okay, I do like how everything is just like slow. I mean, but fair enough, I'm slow as well. So that doesn't even make sense. Okay, no bashing. So I need to like shoot you. Otherwise, I'm going to get hit every single time. Okay, flare your asses. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. God. Okay, thank God husks don't have the same aimbot as they did in Killing for One. Because if they did, I would probably cry. Oh, gee. Oh, no, that's not fun. Scrake and clots. Then God, I like turned around. But do I still have Molotovs? Okay, do. Thank God for that. Let me just burn his ass up. Yeah, here he comes. And here he's probably gonna go. Well then. And the last perk on the list is the Sharpshooter. Now, in Killing Floor 1, the AMR was the best. But I do believe I'm just going to... I don't know, skip it. Oh, you can even get dual hand cannons. Oh, how cool is this? Okay, yeah, I can't even buy it because it's like the same as in Killing Floor 1. Extremely expensive and extremely heavy. So I'm just going to settle with a good old crossbow. Maybe a 1911. Can't even be bothered. Okay, flesh bones. I'm ready for your ass. Okay, maybe I'm not ready for them. Maybe I'm just like speaking out of my ass right now. Because they are a little bit different to what we're used to at this point. Okay, it kind of has like a pause in between, which is a little bit awkward i mean fair enough it has like the same reload speed as in killing floor one i do believe so no complaints there okay can you pick up the arrows okay you can at least that's like the same okay still don't see any flash bounds up oh, speaking of not seeing flash okay please <coughs> let this be a two shot okay thank god for that okay scrake <coughs> action oof them and more scrakes nice got them but yeah this mod it's probably one of my favorites at this point because it kind of adds that like Good old Killing Floor 1 feel back. Okay, wow, I don't have like any bolts anymore, so I'm just going to have to settle with the 1911. Okay, well, my aim is on point. Okay, can I take the dude with just these things? Okay, can I do a long range? Oh, I did. A long range oof. Okay, Siren, away you go, because you're actually OP in this mod. Thank God I didn't like run into you. Oh god, I just like how this thing doesn't have like no recoil whatsoever. You can literally just get like that center spot and then just like spam it. Kinda cool, I guess. A little bit cheap. But kinda cool. Okay, I'm just gonna oof him. Okay, where the hell are you going? Why are you going to kill the dude? Okay, he literally chopped up the husk. Okay, I mean, it's kind of creepy, him just, like, walking towards me right now, but... 
Yeah, 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 not anymore. Okay, since I played all the perks, I'm just going to like loop back around and gonna play the Berserker. I mean, I should have played the AMR just to like kill the boss with, but wait, can I change and it's going to change? Nah, it's not gonna change. Well, then I screwed it up. Okay, I guess I can try the Eviscerator, maybe, possibly. I mean, the thing's probably going to be like the boss saw bow, but I guess we're going to see. Okay, 1911, got to go. And Berserker time with the... Okay, it's not. It's the Eviscerator still. Okay, I'm just gonna buy the Katana just because, you know, killing floor one reasons. And let me just... Oh, the trader is already here. Nice. Okay, Patriarch, let's see what you're gonna do. Oh, it even has the classic music. Look at this. Oh yeah, this music, man. I kind of wish Killing Floor 2 had it, but apparently not. Okay, where is he at? I can't even see him, so I'm just going to keep on running. Probably going to, like, whoop my ass three times over, but I can't even be bothered. Oh, yeah, here I go. I do believe the last time I played this, I died against him. Okay, he's going and healing. Nice. Oh yeah, this music, man. Please, Killing Floor 2, add this shit. If not for the Patriarch, another boss. Patriarch is right over there, his machine gun is as OP as always, I do believe, so I'm just gonna... Oh, he's coming towards my ass, please don't kill me. Oh, he's doing his machine gun, time to run in some corners. So he stops with his stupid ass machine gun, because that's what you do. Oh, he's gonna heal again. Okay, he just went for a swing, a swing and a miss. Oh god, I mean, I can't imagine playing like a slow perk against this dude, because he's just like so resilient to everything. Oh, that was one slow rocket, man. Can't even- Okay, I just need to, like, run away from this, because if I don't, he's probably going to whoop my ass with a machine gun. Strafe left and right. Best thing I can do right now. Dude, can you just stop? I need to kill- Oh, he's doing his rocket now. Ooh, thank god he didn't go through the window. Otherwise, I would probably be screwed. Okay, I do believe that's, like, his last kill. After this, I'm just gonna oof him. So, yeah, the meta for killing the Patriarch and killing for one was just, like, a lot of pipe bombs. And then just like whack him with some A812s. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, that's like one slow rocket. Thank god he doesn't like one shot you. Okay, fair enough, he didn't like shoot it near me, but still. Oh, more rocket action. Yep, it's slow, but I do believe it's going to be deadly as hell once it hits that. Okay, more stupid ass rocket action. Wait, did he just like change songs? Go right, man. Hey! Got him. Oh, it even says, like, your squad survived. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, and on top of that, if you choose, like, I don't know, for instance, the Tragic Kingdom, you're going to have Summer Zeds. Okay, let me just show you that really quick. Oh, and by the way, every single summer map is going to have its summer music from Killing Floor 1, which is actually mm, perfection. And on top of that, Summer Zeds. Or should I say, you know, Team Zeds. So, for instance, this is, like, a summer map. It's going to have, like, Summer Zeds. If you play like a Christmas map like Krampus Lair, it's going to have Christmas Zeds and Christmas music from Killing Floor 1. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, link is going to be in the description for you guys to, you know, check this out. I mean, fair enough, there's not like a download link. I'm just going to link their Steam group so you guys can be like updated. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios. Ooh. And this is what happens when you get oofed.